My name is Mike Tadros with Trimble SketchUp. We're here at Maker Faire 2015, and we're excited this week to be announcing a new Principles feature for 3D Warehouse. Principles essentially adds support for the STL file format uh, on 3D Warehouse. So users now have the ability when they go to upload a model to 3D Warehouse to check a checkbox indicating that the file was essentially designed for 3D printing. Uh, folks also have that option. If they go to any models that they've uploaded to 3D Warehouse previously, there's an edit button that they can click, uh, which would then give them access to that same checkbox. The printables feature is the result of a collaboration between our team and the folks at Materialize. So there's a lot of really great work that goes on behind the scenes. After someone uploads a file to 3D Warehouse, 3D Warehouse actually takes the SketchUp file that they've uploaded, hands it over to Materialize. They've got a really great application that they've called materialized cloud services. So once that SketchUp file gets handed over to the folks that materialize, their cloud services are able to analyze the file, process it, fix a lot of the issues that are commonly associated with trying to 3D print a 3D model, and then they convert that SketchUp file into STL. They then take the STL, pass it back to 3D Warehouse, so that users of 3D Warehouse can then download those STL files for, for printing. This collaboration with Materialize, we think, is is sort of twofold, really. Uh, one, it gives users the ability to take their SketchUp files and convert them to STL for printing and do it in a really, really great way, right? The files that we get back from Materialize are of a really high level of quality. Uh, the ability to then take those files and go off and print them uh, even better than if you were to just take that SketchUp file and convert it straight to STL by some other means. But 3D Warehouse is a platform. It's a community. And so one of the other really great benefits for adding this feature to 3D Warehouse is it now gives users the ability to share those printable designs with others and again to do that in just a much more meaningful way. The printables news is actually the result of having attended past maker fairs and listening to customers who come through the booth asking for those exact features, right? When am I going to be able to upload an STL file to 3D Warehouse? When am I going to be able to convert SketchUp files to STL more efficiently or get better STL files as a result? And so having attended past maker fairs in New York and in Colorado, uh, for me this is really personally gratifying to be able to be here in the Bay Area at Maker Fair and to have this news to share with our users who are coming by the booth this year. So you know, whenever someone comes up and says, hey, you know, I've got a problem or I've, got a, I've been having this trouble, uh, to be able to have an answer to that is, uh, is, is always great. Uh, so I'm Benoit and I'm uh, with Materialize, a Belgian 3D printing company. And um, yeah, it was really great to, to be able to work together with SketchUp 3 Warehouse. Uh, cool folks. Okay, so if, uh, if someone flags a model as printable on 3D Warehouse when uploading it, it's um, sent through an API connection on our side, where we have, based on our 25 years of experience in uh, 3D printing software, um, it's, um, it's processed in the cloud, where first the SketchUp file will be converted to an STL, which is a uh, most commonly used file format for 3D printing. We will check it for uh, common errors uh, like bad edges, uh, little holes, um, flip triangles, stuff like that. We will use all the technology that we have in-house from uh, our extensive uh, experience to automatically fix that, um, check if the file is of good quality in the end, and then send it back to 3D Warehouse, where it will be uh, available for downloads for free, just as with the, the regular SketchUp models. They're just under below the same uh, download button.